I wanted to stop here because I wanted to mention how important it is these three attributes right here. So bravery will go up to 340 with shadow runs, and that's gonna be key because you need this attribute so that way it can last longer until retirement. And aggression obviously with Kayoka with others. Now, this is what you need to understand. Please pay a lot of attention. At this point, you have to increase fitness and you have to increase strength. And you can do that with gym. Now, what happens is that you use shuttle runs for bravery. So shuttle runs need strength, speed, bravery, right? You're gonna increase strength now with gym. So now you cannot maintain bravery. The next logic step will be increasing fitness. You're gonna probably gonna do that with sprint or slalom dribble. So you're gonna use uh, speed and you're gonna use uh, dribbling, passing or speed and dribbling to increase fitness. And you did use speed to increase aggression with Karyoga. So once you do those drills, you can no longer maintain aggression and bravery ever, as well as positioning because positioning was dead long ago. And so we finally reached this part where the structure of the DC is completed. This is where you need to get if you're training either a DC or a DMC because as I probably explained, there are three attributes and then there is the fact that you're gonna to have to raise fitness and strength. So up until this point, you have a structure that is working for both. But if you're gonna train, say, DMC from this point on, the special ability should be Playmaker. Then you unlock the DMC with fast counter attack and then you train that with fast counter attack because you want passing and you want creativity. Now, with, with this uh, particular player, I'm not training a DMC. So what I will follow, we do is, um, what is this, uh, Aerial Defender. I would do Aerial Defender. And then I'm gonna increase fitness with sprint, and then I'm gonna increase strength with shooting technique.